Hello, folks. We're right here outside of Bulldog Field after the Terry Bulldogs take a tough loss here at home against Clinton, 42-7. to And so, Coach, not the result you were looking for. Um, you had some guys out. Uh, but then also Clinton did a good job in the second half moving the football uh, with their uh, quarterback, Jaden Jones, who really had a good game uh, as well. Um, very talented player. Just kind of summarize what, what you kind of saw from your team. Well, you know, uh, they did some things different with special teams, and uh, they, they scored the first drive. You know, we thought we were going to get off the, the field. They – they converted a fake punt that kind of extended the drive and then threw a touchdown pass down there. Yeah. So, and then on the ensuing kickoff, we don't feel the ball. We just kind of look at it and, uh, you know, they go score again. So, we're down 14. But I thought we did an awesome job of coming back and putting together a drive and scoring. And, uh, yeah, you know, we were down two scores at half. And uh, I thought we had a chance to get back in the game. But when we didn't come out, and and move the ball on offense that first drive. I, I knew it would, be, it would be difficult for us. And then, you know, on defense, those guys played a lot of snaps. Uh, we got guys banged up. And so, uh, they, they, you know, they were able to score. And so, um, not our best performance. You know, I got to be better as far as coaching and getting our team prepared. And so, we'll do that. I told the team after the game, I said, look, you know, put this one on me. Um, I know you're disappointed. We're all disappointed, but we're going to stay together, and we'll come back next week, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. We're going to flush this one. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll watch the film, and we'll make corrections. But our biggest thing right now is we're trying to, you know, nurse guys back to health. Uh, we, we got a lot of guys banged up. Uh, as you know, Runde is – he didn't play the second half. And yeah. so going into the region play, your second season when it really counts – you really want to be as healthy as possible. Um, a lot of teams take a bye this week, and so uh, and that's why, because around the six or seven week of the season, you know, you, you need a break uh, physically, and so we're we're just trying to hold on as far as you know some guys who got got banged up tonight. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> definitely that that definitely played a big part in the game because obviously Jordan McGee did not play. Uh, this week, and uh, you're talking about a guy on both sides of the ball. Because if you had Rondé Baker out, you'd probably run Jordan oh, yeah. uh, Jordan oh, yeah. some as well. And then on the defensive side of the ball, he's had a great season so far. Mm -hmm. And so there was that Rondé Baker. He scored the touchdown that you guys uh, got and didn't return to the game uh, following that. And uh, but one thing I do want to remind the audience is that last time I remember hearing you talk about we got to flush this and move on to the next was last year. Right. Hattiesburg, right. 39 nothing mm -hmm. down there. looked like the season was about <laughs> in the tank. But yeah. then the next week, 55 nothing. Then the next week, big win over George County right. on the road in the playoffs. So, right. Coach, I know you're looking for that kind of bounce back from your team, huh? Absolutely. You know, um, it's like I told my assistants, I said, man, I've been doing this a long time. You know, we can't let this one linger. I know I know it hurts, and we're going to be bothered by it because we're competitive, and we want to win, and we want to do well. And, you know, it hurts me because it's been about maybe two or three years since we had a loss like this at home um, in front of our home crowd. So, you know, that, that bothers me. But, you know, you got to give – Clinton the credit. They played well. They executed and made plays when they had the chance to make plays, and, and we didn't. And so, you know, I got to coach better and, and, and we'll be better. So next week uh, you're back here at Bulldog Field starting off region play against West Jones. West Jones was on a 19-game winning streak dating back to last year, but tonight they lost to Jackson Prep by the same score, 42-7 right. to seven on the road for them. So now they're coming in with the same feeling that you guys have so, really, you're talking about a wash. Now yeah. you start region play right here at Bulldog Field. Mm -hmm. What you telling your guys heading into that week? Hey, hey, we got a shot. I told them this is our – next week is our – when our second season starts, that's when it really counts. And, um, you know, um, this is when we got to have it. So, we we got to pull out all the stops, you know, as far as in practice. We don't have any dis distractions. There's no more ninth grade football. There's no more JV football. There's just varsity football from Sunday through Friday of next week. Yep. So, you know, even for our coaches, I think those guys been working hard. And over the summer and, and throughout August, I told them, I said, guys, listen, 
September for us is going to be a gauntlet because we're going to play three games a week with um, freshman JV and varsity, and I thought our staff handled that well. Um, and, you know, coaches are human too. So, you know, just like even tomorrow, you know, we, we normally <clears throat> on Saturdays I get the guys off, but they do have prep for Sunday's meetings. And so, yep. you know, we'll, we'll grade the film, we'll watch it, we'll break it down uh, tomorrow, but we also have a um, – you know, a funeral to attend with one of our players' brothers, and we're, we're going to go support them and be there with them. And then Sunday, you know, we have our Sunday meeting. And so, but next week we'll have, you know, regular practice times where we could really focus in and, and try to get our team best prepared for West Jones because we know they're, they'll bounce back too. And so uh, we'll get their best shot. So we just got to make sure, you know, mentally and physically we're at our best next Friday. So that's the post-game interview brought to you by Buford Plumbing and Heating. Next week we will be live right here from Bulldog Field on the TSJW Network YouTube channel. Please be sure to subscribe. The Terry Bulldogs will be hosting the West Jones Mustangs. Both teams sit at 5-1, and one, losing their last nine region game, and will take on each other to start off region play. We appreciate you joining us. Charles Williams, we out.